Welcome back, Buckeye Nation, to your Caribou Data Science channel. First of all, a big shout out to the three people who did watch this video yesterday. I appreciate every one of those of you folks, you guys and gals who did in fact watch the video yesterday. But of course, today I got a couple favors. If you haven't done so already, click on that subscribe button. We've been, you know, our channel's been been uh, stuck at 196 subscriptions for a few weeks now. Let's let's you know, let's see if we can get this the subscribers up to 200 by the end of the week. Okay. Also, before we get started, you know, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Click on the like button if you find this video helpful, and most importantly of all, click on the share button. Share the video on Facebook and Twitter, as well as uh, you can also, of course, cut and paste the link into an email or text message and share it with your friends and family that way. Okay, let's get on with the show now. As we, as I always remind you, uh, back in February, the governor's office came out and said that they had undercounted COVID 19 deaths by close to 4,000 in the fourth quarter of 2020. And their solution was rather than going back and correcting the numbers, they simply added the numbers on to February 11th, 12th, and 13th. Which makes these numbers look like yes. But look at look where the previous days were. So we got this huge massive spike here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna take the average, as you can see here, the average for those three days. Okay, let me place it let me place eleven, twelve, and thirteen with it with the average, which is much closer. Now, now it's possible that these numbers here could be closer up into here also, but that's okay. Uh, but anyway, here's the raw cases. Okay, notice we had these huge corrections here, which is ridiculous. A few summary statistics. Now here's a plot of deaths. This is from December first, which is uh, actually it should probably be. I could probably do October first since that'd be the start of the. Uh, Let's just see what happens here. What does this do? Let's do this. Okay. Now this doesn't make any sense, of course, does it? We're already doing a smooth number here. <laughs> okay, I did, I did enough filling for today. Let's let's see let's see what difference this makes. We're, going, we're actually going back to the fourth quarter. Now the governor says most of those no errors were in, were in December of 2020. Okay. Now, okay, this does change it significantly, doesn't it? You, 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 this this brings this this increase back over here, back into play. So we did have a huge increase, but again, starting somewhere around here, you do see a decline. All right, in cases or in deaths. All right. 
So that's that's what we're concerned with. The trend is our friend, and the trend from here continues to be downward. Here's monthly cases or daily cases. And this is what that number looks like. Again, the the the, this, the long increase up here. Now this is not good. There's clearly a slight increase here. All right. There's clearly an increase here. So that's not particularly what we're looking for in terms of. Uh, okay, so we got two numbers. We got a 21 day here and a seven day there. Okay. Remind me to fix that tomorrow. Okay, this is clearly, this is clearly not a seven day moving average. All right. So anyway, this does conclude your report today for Rock Eye Nation for you. COVID 19 deaths do continue to be trending downward, although not steeply downward. Uh, Unfortunately, it doesn't appear as if cases are starting to increase a little bit. All right. Of course, these are average numbers. So, in it, so, so in actual fact, the increase is probably above this, this red line right there, okay? Because these, these are averages, right? So anyway, Buckeye Nation, thanks so much for your time today. Hey, thanks to the three people who did watch the video yesterday. Before I let you go, of course, hey, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Like I said, we're stuck at 196 subscriptions. Let's get to 200 by the weekend. That's four. We need four more subscriptions. The time, the time, uh, by let's say by 5 p.m. Sunday, we need, we need four more subscriptions by 5 p.m. Sunday in order to reach that magic 200 subscriber mark. But of course, don't forget to click the share button, share the video on Facebook and Twitter. You can also copy and paste the link to the video into an email or text message and share the news with your friends and family that way. Thanks so much, Buckeye Nation. We'll catch you tomorrow with an updated report.